I want to speak about flying monkeys. And I know I haven't done a video on them before, but it's because I find them highly annoying. They are like tagalongs who don't have a mind of their own. But due to recent events, I am going to share my thoughts. When it comes to exacting revenge on a threat, covert narcissists do not act alone. They tend to have flying monkeys working on their behalf. Flying monkeys are those people that the narcissists use to carry out their dirty work. They are used by the narcissists to manipulate or abuse their targets. There are two categories of flying monkeys, I think. The first set are those who are just as evil and narcissistic as the narc who is using them. And the second set are individuals who are susceptible or just easily manipulated, who don't even realize that the narcissist is actually deceiving and using them. But either way, no matter which category of flying monkey someone falls into, I wouldn't think highly of them. Because the narcissist uses gossip and lies to evoke a reaction from these minions to get them to attack. And there is always two sides to a story. So if someone just chooses to listen to the narcissist, and not be fair in their judgment, I can't look at that person the same. I start distancing myself. That person is not a friend, but a foe. When the narcissist recruits a flying monkey, that person would have already proven themselves to the narcissist as being a fit candidate for the role. And that's why I don't play nice with them either. I see them as an extension of the narcissist, meaning they are highly toxic and should be avoided at all cost. But let's get to the chase as to why the covert narcissist needs the fly monkeys. If you have listened to a few of my videos, you know that I believe narcissists operate from a place of fear. So that is the number one reason why they need flying monkeys, because they are cowards, spineless, evil bastards who hide in the shadows while their minions do the legwork. And because they are afraid of confrontation or being held responsible, they pretend to be oblivious to what's going on. Secondly, the more people they can turn against you, the better. Remember, the narcissist wants everyone to abandon you. They want you to be sad, lonely, and depressed, but also the more people that they manipulate into their corner somehow validates their story as them being the victim and the true victim, the perpetrator. But to sum it all up, narcissists and their flying monkeys are just as pathetic. Hell to the no channel, Jeanette. It's back again.